It's my turn. But instead of drawing, I'll use my field spell to banish the top card of my deck to add a null space monster to my hand. Perfect! Now I have everything I need to win this right at my fingertips. You're bluffing! Am I? See for yourself! I banish Stardust Dragon from my extra deck. Now, rise! Stardust Dragon of Null Space! Yodok, you monster! What have you done to Twilight's dragon? that there's more to this monster than meets the eye. You're right, Ulrich. For you see, my slime is also a tuner monster. A tuner? Wait, then that only means one thing. That's right, Sora. You're not the only one here who knows how to synchro summon. But wait, there's more. When this monster is used for a synchro summon, I can ignore the summoning conditions as long as both monsters are the same level as the Synchro Monster. Now watch closely as I call forth an old friend of yours, Sora. Oh no! Oh yes! I Synchro Summon! Loki, Lord of the Aesir! <laughs> I'm afraid there's more. I activate the spell card, No Space Synchro Split. This card lets me tribute Loki for another synchro monster, as long as it's the same level as the tributed monster. Come forth! Loki, Dragon of No Space! Is that... Loki? Oh, he's look better. Uh, nothing? Mm. Now I'll play Loki's special ability. Since Loki was successfully summoned, I can bring back a monster that was removed from the game. And I choose Stardust Dragon! <laughs> Two dragons again? That's right, Sora. And now Loki's special ability lowers Chris's monster by the attack points of the monster just revived. So, Neos Knight, kneel before the wrath of Loki! Neos, no! This keeps up. Let's lock it on. I would say you put up a good fight, only he didn't. Now, Loki, annihilate Neo's Knight with mischievous chaos! You know what to do. Yes, I do, Yugo. I play Hero Barrier! Thanks to this, since you have an element of hero on the field, your dragon's attack is negated. Well done! Nice move! I wouldn't be celebrating if I were you. For I play No Space Storm! Since I have a No Space Monster out, I can destroy one of your monsters. And I choose Neos Knight! Oh yeah? I play Elemental Mirage! Because an Elemental Hero was destroyed due to an effect, I get to bring it back. Return to battle, Neos Knight! Quick thinking there, Chris. Huh, I just thought it would be rude of me to let you go without a monster out there with you. Thanks. And you can count on me to putting Neo's Knight to good use. I'm sorry, Lord, but I'm afraid your best won't even be good enough here. Not so long as I have Stardust Dragon. Because due to Loki, Dragon of Null Space's ability, your monster's attack points decrease by Stardust Dragon's attack points. Ah, this is all my fault. No, it's not, Sora. If anything, it's my fault. Huh? Yorok is the negative version of me. But I promise you I will set things right, and I'll start by getting Stardust Dragon back. What are you talking about? Next, I'll place two cards face down to end my turn. Then it's my move now. So watch out! Very well. Let's see what the King of Games Apprentice can do. Ulrich, my cards are your cards. Well, 
In that case, I'll use Reincarnation of Hope's effect to add a monster from my deck to my hand. And I choose this one. Is that? I then activate a spell card known as Ancient Rules. This lets me summon a level 5 or above monster from my hand. So say hello to Trance the Magic Swordsman! This is my ace monster, just as Dark Magician is Yukimoto's. Wow! Awesome! Well, as awesome as he may be, he's still subject to Loki's power down effect. Yes, Twilight? But, Twily. Oh, how touching. Now go already, damn it. <laughs> Next, I'll play Pot of Greed. Which lets me draw two cards from my deck. Oh, huh, look at that! It looks like I've drawn Water Pond. If I draw this card outside of my draw phase, I can special summon it to the field. But don't blink, because you might miss him. Because now I sacrificed him to summon another favorite of mine. Go, Dark Magician Girl! Awesome! According to the history books, that's one of Yugi's favorite monsters! Huh? Oh, buddy, it looks like it's going to be a real trick for us to play out on top Next, I'll play the spell Magic Gate of Miracles. Now, since I have two spellcasters out of my field, I can target one of your monsters and switch it to my side. Oh no you don't! I play a trap! Loki's Curse! And by putting it onto my monster, it can't be affected by your spells or traps. Nice try, Oric, but Loki is staying right where he is. <laughs> Who said I was targeting Loki? What? I'm taking back Twilight's Stardust Dragon. Now I shall control it. Now it's your turn, Sora. Huh? I activate Monster Reborn. This lets me bring back a monster from either player's graveyard. So guess who's making a comeback? <sighs> no, you can't! I just did! Return! Loki, Lord of the Azior! Sora, Stardust and Loki are now back where they belong. <laughs> Thanks, Ulrich! <laughs> You never wanted Dragon of Null Void in the first place, right? Speaking of which, since Stardust Dragon is on our field, Loki's ability is no longer in effect, which means our monster's attack points return to normal. Bravo, Ulrich. But so what if you got both of your friends' monsters back? My Loki still powers the original with a total of 4,000. Face it, you're outmatched. Are you sure about that? Huh? I activate the equipped spell card, Mega Morph. Since we have lower life points than you do, this doubles the attack points of one monster on our field. And I choose Loki. What? Now your monster is the one who's outmatched, Yorok. Now let me show you the power of teamwork. Would you like to do the honor, Sora? Let's do this together! Loki, Loki Lord, Lord of the, the Aether, attack! attack Vanity Vanity Bolt! Haha! <laughs> Sweet! Alright! They might actually pull this off! <sighs> These desperate moves change nothing! I disagree! You had two monsters and now you have zero! Leaving you wide open for a direct attack! Wrong! You didn't leave me wide open. <laughs> you see, all you did was just make me more angry! You've given me no choice but to destroy you in my true form! What do you mean, your true form? I activate the trap! Crimson Armageddon calling! What the? 
His life points just dropped to zero. Wait, does that mean we won? Not even close. You see, since you just destroyed a dragon-type monster, this trap lets me sacrifice all of my life points in order to summon my most dangerous beast, Crimson Armageddon Dragon! <laughs> Thin big monsters in my life, but that behemoth definitely takes the cake. Hold on, how can you have a monster out in the field with no life points? You should have lost! Think again, Sora. You see, normally when my life points reach zero, the duel will be over. However, as long as Crimson Armageddon and Dragon is on my field, I remain in the game. But if you manage to destroy him, you win. 10,000 attack points? But how are we supposed to beat that? This is your doing, Ulrich. I hope that you're pleased with yourself. Especially now, since that I have fewer life points, the effect of your Megamorph card cuts Loki's attack points in half! <laughs> what have I done? I can't destroy that thing. It's over. We've lost. Oh, lighten up, man. Huh? Sure, things may not look too good, but don't forget, we have a secret weapon on our side. That's right, because all of us believe in duel monsters with all our hearts, while Big and Scaly over there does not. And when you believe, you always have a chance. That's just like what Yuki said. Thanks guys, that's just the kind of inspiration I needed. Now, let's win this duel and save our home! Yeah! I activate Card of Sanctity! Now we each draw from our decks until we have six cards in our hands. Heart of the cards, guide me. Perfect! I activate Mystical Space Typhoon, and I'll use it to destroy my Megamorph, so Loki's attack points return to normal. Finally, I'll place two cards face down and end my turn. Way to go, Ulrich! Thanks, Sora. I'm just lucky I drew some good cards this time. The time. Oh, no. Sunset, what's the matter? Uh, guys, why are the stars going out? What's going on? Uh, huh? Riku, what's wrong? Wait, who's gone? What? But how? This is the future of a new era, recreating the universe by destroying the original. Like I said, in order to create balance, sacrifices must be made. Riku! No way. This can't be real. Riku. Kairi. Donald, Goofy, everyone, there. <sighs> no! You bastard! You'll pay for this! <laughs> Just try and stop me. Now, it's my turn, and I activate No Space Selector. By removing No Space Slime and Cyber and Dragon of No Space, I can add two cards from my deck and add them to my hand. Next, I'll banish three monsters from my deck in order to summon their negative counterparts. Blue Eyes No Space Dragon, Red Eyes No Space Dragon, and Elemental Hero No Neos! Oh, that's Wesley's Blue Eyes White Dragon! And Wave Rose's Neos!
Oh, and sends Crimson on the Dragon. If one of your monsters goes down, all of your other monsters are also destroyed. What? I play a face down. Defusion. Neo Snipe, time to split. Now, Sora. Hmm. I play Junk Gardener's ability. It allows me to switch your monster from attacking to defending, which means Dark Magician Girl is safe. And I discard Sphere Karibo to the graveyard to switch Neos to defense mode. Phew! That was close. I thought I was a goner. Fools, you still are! Go, Blue Eyes! Pick up where Neos and Red Eyes left off! Prince, no! Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I'm okay. Well, you won't be for long, because now Crimson Armageddon Dragon's special ability activates, which means all the remaining monsters you have on the field are destroyed. Uh, what are we going to do? What? Don't worry, Warwick. I'll take it from here. I activate Stardust Dragon's special ability! By sacrificing it, we can negate your dragon's ability and then destroy it all together! What?! And since you need Crimson Armageddon Dragon to remain in the game, this duel is over! So say goodbye! Not so fast! I play Crimson Armageddon's other ability! By removing Rainbow Dragon of No Space in my graveyard from play, my dragon is safe! And you know what that means? It can carry out its attack! Ah. I remember when one goes, they all go! Oh, and did I mention, for every monster destroyed by this special ability, you take 700 points of damage! That's right. Lie there and prepare to accept your fate. Keep fighting. They can't even defend themselves. Now, I activate the quick play spell, No Space Reborn. With it, I can bring back one No Space monster from my graveyard as long as it gets banished at the end phase. And the monster I choose to bring back is... Stardust Dragon of No Space! I only have 500 life points left. I warned you fools not to interfere, and now, you'll see why. Stardust Dragon of North Space, OBLITERATE THEM! Now, Duel Monster shall perish, and buried deep beneath its ashes will be you three, your girls, and all the monsters and cards you hold so dear! <laughs> it's over! <laughs> At last, Sora is no more! <laughs> well, huh? Uh, uh, uh. What? But how? What just happened? I don't know. Yeah. But how? Uh. Ulrich? I activated a trap right after your attack hit us. It's called Relay Soul. It works like this. When our life points reach zero, I can special summon a monster from my hand. And as long as that monster is on our field, we remain in the duel, no matter how many life points we have. But... you don't have any monsters on your field. <laughs> Look again. What? This is my favorite card. Moon Envoy. It's one of the first cards I got as a child. I've grown a strong bond with this card ever since. <laughs> Ulrich, I will make you pay dearly for that little stunt! I don't think so. 
Remember, since it's the end phase, no space reborn's effect ends, which means Stardust Dragon of no space is now banished. As for the real Stardust Dragon, it now returns to the field thanks to its special ability. And don't forget about Loki! When it gets destroyed, it comes back at the end phase! <laughs> and since it's been revived, it can allow me to bring back one trap card from my graveyard! And I choose this one! me that you'll win this duel. And just remember that we're all behind you. All of us are. You will, Auric. <laughs> Actually, that's not my real name. Huh? My real name is... No! This can't be real. It's up to you now, Sora. Now use the cards I left for you and save the world. All right. Come on, Chris. Let's do this. Let's do it for Ulrich. Yeah, no doubt. Now let him have it. It'll be my pleasure. I play a trap! Stardust Mirage? But that's impossible. You don't have that card in your deck. Twilight believed that I would get her Stardust Dragon back, and it looks like she was right. And since it is on the field, all the monsters that were destroyed this turn come back! So come on back, Trance the Magic Swordsman, Junk Gardener, and Elemental Hero Neos! But I just got rid of all of them! Now for our draw, and for your downfall, Yoduk! Mind if I join in? I play a trap! Neos Spiral Force! This doubles the attack wings of one monster on the field, and I choose... Loki, Lord of the Aesir! So what? It's still not strong enough to destroy Crimson Armageddon Dragon! Maybe not, but Oryx still has one face down card left, and I'll start by activating it now! The Trap Nordic Relic Manging Herd! And due to its name, I can select one Nordic monster on the field and double its attack points! Loki, power up! 13,200 attack points? No! You got, got it. it! Elemental Hero Neos! Attack! Cosmic Crush! 
Let this be a lesson to you and everyone else, Yodok. If you or anyone else messes with my friends, then you'll fail like the rest. Now go, Loki, Lord of the Aesir, attack! Now go! go. Double, Double Cosmic, cosmic magic, magic Flare! flare. No! Good news, Mr. Pegasus. The storm clouds are clearing. Out of mind. It's time to leave. Farewell, you fool. Twily! I thought I lost you.